You know, human beings, by nature, we love immediate transactions, what the Quran calls tijaratan hadira, right? Immediate transaction. In other words, I pay for something now, and I get it when? Now. The only time we like to delay a transaction is when we say, I want the product now. I want the big screen TV now, but I'll pay you over six months. In other words, we like to pay over time, but receive when? Immediately. So human beings like to pay late, but receive immediately. That's our nature. إِنَّ اللَّهَ اشْتَرَى مِنَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ أَنفُسَهُمْ وَأَمْوَالَهُمْ بِأَنَّ لَهُمُ الْجَنَّةِ In this ayah, Allah says, you give me money, you give me your life, and I will give you, what is Allah giving you? He's giving you Jannah. We like to receive immediately or later? We like to receive immediately. Is Jannah coming immediately or later? Jannah is coming later. And when do you have to make the payments to Allah? Now. And you have to make them one time or you have to keep making them? You have to keep making those payments with your time, with the way you live, with the way you dress, with the way you talk, with the things you want to do which you can't do because they're haram, with the money that you can't earn because it's not the permissible way of earning money, the money you want to spend but it's not the right way to spend that kind of money. And you're constantly holding yourself back because you are in a transaction with Allah. And every time you hold yourself back, you have to remind yourself, well, I'm doing this in exchange for what? Jannah. But human nature is if you're paying a price to earn something, you want to see it. All we get is a verbal confirmation from Allah. I'll give it to you. Trust me. That's all we get. We got nothing else. Allah is telling you, He's going to give you Jannah when there is dirt being poured on your face, when you're in the ground. That, that's when I'll give you Jannah. But when do you pay him? Right now. He says, just trust me. Doesn't it take an incredible amount of trust? It does, doesn't it? That's what it means to believe and trust Allah. It's not an easy thing. It's easy to say. It's not easy to do. You see the disobedience to Allah. Shaitan, by the way, the opposite. Shaitan says, listen, listen. I got some amazing dunya luxuries for you, some pleasures for you. You can have them right now. Just tap this, just click it. Just click it, just do it. It's right there, it's so easy. You might get in trouble later, but it ain't right now. You go, you're good, you're good, you're fine. At least for the next 20, 30 years, there's not gonna be any problems, all right? He comes to you and offers you immediate reward and no payments. Obviously far more tempting, far more powerful to take immediate reward and leave off what is gonna come so far later. And so many people, because we are impulsive buyers, when a good juicy product comes in front of us, we just put it in the cart. We can't hold ourselves. So now when I've, I've presented this transaction to you, because I wanted to leave you with what Allah says at the end of this transaction. Feel congratulated over the sale you just made. The sale of giving yourself up and your money up in exchange for Jannah. Feel congratulated over that sale. Everyone around you will say you're a fool. You're missing out on life. You could have been doing so much with your youth. Man, you're, you're a good looking guy. You're a young woman. You could have had anything you wanted and you're wasting it away with that hijab on your head and that scruffy beard you're trying to grow. And you're trying to go to the masjid and pray and this and that. Man, we could have been having so much fun. You're just, you only live once. YOLO. You know, you only live once. Apparently to the kafir, yes. You know, and you say, no, I just want Jannah. You're, you're stupid, man. You're stupid. Why can't you get smart? And then you just say, I, I can't, I can't take this pressure anymore. Everybody's telling me I'm dumb. I'm making dumb. Am I really missing out on life? Am I doing this right? And then you open Allah's book and Allah says, congratulations, you made a good sale. The only one to congratulate you in this scenario is not going to be your friends. It's not even going to be your family sometimes. The only one to congratulate you will be Allah. The congratulations will come from nowhere else. Nobody else will think you're making a wise decision. The only one to congratulate you will be Allah.